Hi, I'm Aubrey Bernier-Clark, and I'm the director of A Normal Girl. Hey everybody, my name is Pigeon, and you may know me as the person who likes to say that intersex is beautiful. I was born with an intersex condition known as androgen and sensitivity syndrome. Is it harder than it looks? A Normal Girl is a short documentary about non-consensual genital surgeries that are routinely performed on intersex children and babies. Um, this particular story is told through the experience of one intersex activist named Pigeon Pagonis. I just want people to be able to grow up in the bodies they were born with and be able to make decisions on their own when they're older. Our short documentary is about my story and my mother's story and what it was like to grow up as an intersex kid in the 80s and 90s um, and what it was like for my mother to raise someone <laughs> growing up that way. My story kind of features a lot of shame and secrecy and surgery. Well, we went over to Children's Memorial Hospital and they explained to us that where the ovaries should have been, they explained it as tissue. And if they were to leave that tissue there, it would just rot and turn into cancer. Well, that was it. You hear that? What can you do? What are you gonna do to save my baby? The majority of these surgeries are quote unquote for normalizing purposes. And I don't believe that those are necessary. And I believe with my, like full heartedly, <laughs> that they bring way more pain and problems and issues into someone's life than just letting us grow up in the perfect intersex bodies that we already, that we have. As dark as this subject matter is, Pigeon is a very light person. Like they bring a certain charisma and brightness into every situation that they're in. And that was something I immediately noticed about them. We live in a society that is really invested in clinging on to outdated and rigid concepts of gender as a binary. Pigeon has this sparkly aura about them that actually everyone wants to talk to them and it just opens doors to understanding. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it so much. We struggled with the, hap the kind of happy ending because we don't want people to think that this situation is resolved because it's not. Um, however, we did want to show that there's an alternative and that you can raise a child without surgery, you can raise a child um, who chooses to identify as non-binary, and that can be a happy, healthy child. Intersex is awesome. My name's Ori, I am 10 years old, and my pronouns are they, them. We had a doctor that was really inappropriate. They tried to pressure my husband and I and said that like, you know, our child could hate us for not doing surgery. I came in with like a huge stack of research and I basically was like, we want to get hormone levels checked. We want to know all this stuff and what's going on, but there's no way we're going to do any surgery that's cosmetic or aesthetic. You don't have to do things the way that the doctors tell you. And I think when you see Ori's story, um, you get to see that it doesn't have to be that way, that you can actually say no to these quote-unquote normalizing surgeries. You can let the child grow up, delay any surgery, and decide as an adult one day and make an informed decision about their own life and their own body, which is the way that it should be. We have to reach out to those in power as the people to make change. So if you watch this film and you can do one thing, and whether that's make a donation to an intersex group, send an email to a, a politician, call a hospital that if we all do that, you know, those in charge are gonna start to listen. One of the universal concepts of this film is shame and overcoming that shame and using shame and anger and pain in a positive way to motivate like activism and change. So I hope that if anyone is watching and they're dealing with anything that they're ashamed about or that they were made to feel ashamed about, um, whatever it is that they've been told to like to not to kind of keep to themselves so that they could have a normal life or be a normal girl or a normal boy <laughs> um, to kind of let go of that. And I think, and it's not for everybody, but for me, part of my healing was sharing my story and to not let that shame keep me quiet. And so I hope that others can kind of get inspired by that too. Have an extreme position. What's exciting about Five Films for Freedom is that it does have that opportunity to you know, bring anyone who's interested to come and be a member of our audience and watch this. This really is a global issue. 
And, um, and it's something that we want to involve people on an international scale for.